Hey everyone, so this is my May favourites. I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, the first thing I want to mention is uh, my Kate BB Gel Cream. And it's by the um, main brand um, Kinebo. Or Kinebo, Kinebo. Can't pronounce it, but it's a Japanese brand. Um, I have, I bought this quite a while ago, but I've been using this almost constantly for the last couple of months and um, the reason I this deserves to be mentioned is because it's made such a difference to my skin um, my skin just looks a lot better after using this for um, a while um, it looks a lot clearer it looks a lot radiant and um, I can tell that some of my hyperpigmentation marks stroke scarring um, are slightly faded Yes, I could probably put that also down to my skincare and also down to scarring and hyperpigmentation will fade with time. But um, I've just realised when I've noticed that when I've started using this, that it's just made such a difference to my skin, despite the skincare, etc. My skincare, etc. So um, definitely worth a mention. Another thing that I want to say about this BB gel cream is that it's more like a foundation than it is a BB cream. Um, I always find this in my foundation section of my drawer. I forget that this is an actual BB cream. Um, it goes on like a foundation. It gives a sheer to me buildable medium coverage. Um, it doesn't have any grey cast at all, which a lot of BB cream does. And um, this stays put all day. It stays put all day. It doesn't exactly control my oil, but my um, oils. But um, I find that using a blotting sheet to get rid of the oil, this BB cream still um, is in the correct place. It still looks really good underneath that. So, um, like I said, more feels more like a foundation than a BB cream, but definitely worth trying if you can get hold of this. I bought this in Hong Kong, um, so I don't know where you can get it here. But um, yeah, um, if I can find any links, I'll put it in my description bar below. So yeah, a next product I want to mention is the Avon Super Shock Gel Liner. Looks like this. And um, I've got, this one is in black. You can see I've been using it. And I've also got this in aubergine as well. And this is a really, really good liner. I only ever use pencil type liners on my waterline. And I can truthfully say there's only a handful of product that works for me on my waterline. I've got really watery eyes and a lot of pencil type liners. They just go in grey. But um, this one and a couple of others, this one actually goes on black actual really dark black without having to go over it several times and um, this actually stays put for quite a few hours after applying it without having to retouch it which a lot of again pencil type liners don't on my waterline um, so I really really like this it's a really good liner for someone who has who doesn't have dry eyes or use these type of gel stroke pencil type liners on their um, uh, actually for their uh, um, on their upper lash line etc this probably would stay put all day so um, definitely highly recommend this um, next thing that I've been loving this month is my Majolica Majolica Lash Gorgeous Wing Neo Mascara focus that it's like this and um, this is what it looks like I'll try and focus this more, I don't know if you can see, it is actually a fibre mascara. So I use this as my base coat um, before applying my other mascaras that I use. This is a great base coat, I think. Um, because of the fibre, it makes your lashes look lengthened a lot more. Um, it does give a bit of volume look to your lashes and it separates your lashes really really well because of the brush. It's sort of one of these ones so when you roll it on 
it sort of separates your lashes really really well and um, I found that when I put this on before my other mascara um, this just makes my lashes look a lot lot better it makes my the mascara looks a lot better on my lashes as well um, and I find that if I put this on before using a non waterproof mascara my my lashes can stay curled as well depending on which non waterproof mascara I use but um like I said I am starting to use this under all my mascaras and it just makes um, my mascara look a lot a lot better so if you can get hold of this or um, I haven't tried any other fiber type mascaras yet but um, I'm assuming they might work the same I'm not sure but um, I'll try some and let you know but if you can get hold of this one because it's really really good right next thing a next favorite this month or last month because I'm uploading this in June um, is my Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cream I brought this a couple of weeks back just over a couple of weeks back and um, this is a day and night cream it doesn't contain an SPF so great for anyone who doesn't want additional SPF in their moisturizing cream um, but I use this as my night cream only I use the day wear one as my day cream but this is a really creamy moisturizer so I couldn't get away with using it during the day it's just too much for my skin during the day but um, this is an excellent excellent cream for your, for the night it just leaves my skin looking really soft feeling really soft looking really radiant come the morning and um, yeah it is a great great night cream for me but anyone with really dry skin this probably makes a great day cream as well and um, my final favorite of this month of May um, is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection 15 Second Miracle Cleansing Oil and I think I mentioned this in my beauty haul video that I put out beginning of the month I think um, what it says, it instantly dissolves makeup, even waterproof makeup, rebalances and purifies for healthy looking skin, lightweight and non-greasy. And it's suitable for all skin types, for the face and for the eyes as well. Um, this is a great, great cleansing oil. I have tested using this to remove waterproof mascara and it does actually remove waterproof mascara but anyone who has those um, Asian waterproof mascaras is not going to remove everything so I would advise again removing that before using this but other than that it removes makeup really well um, it leaves the skin soft it doesn't dry the skin out and it really isn't doesn't feel that greasy or oily when you're um, rubbing it in it says 15 second miracle cleansing oil I use it I sort of massage it in for a good 30 seconds 15 30 seconds um, before removing and I find that it removes makeup really 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 well it hasn't broken me out I like that it doesn't feel greasy on my skin and it's actually really easy to um, remove um, that you, do, you don't end up with any oily residues once you've tried to remove all the cleansing oil from your skin um, it just removes really really well uh, with just water so um, I think it's around seven eight pounds um, and I think for a cleansing oil that works this good it's actually inexpensive compared to some higher brand um, cleansing oils out there and um, it hasn't broken me out or anything so if you need a cleansing oil I'd say give this one a try because it's actually surprisingly really really good so yeah um, finally I usually end these videos with a product that I regret buying or don't like and this month it's the Too Faced Liquify Eye Eyeliner to Eyeshadow Transformer looks like this and um, I can't say I hate it per se or 
um, it's a crap product or anything like that because I, I have a feeling it's because I personally just don't know how to use it properly. Um, I've used this by dipping it into my powder shadow. Um, I've used it by dipping it into that, then using an eyeliner brush to brush it on. And I've even gone, I've, I've even put the shadow on my eye first and then used this to go over it to see if I get an intense eyeliner look from it and just nothing has worked and I have a feeling it's because I'm not using it correctly um, so I don't want to say it's a bad product but um, anyone who's used this and liked it then give me instructions because um, I really want to give this a good try before giving it a bad review or any review whatsoever so um, yeah but at the moment this is definitely a product I regret buying because I just don't know how to use it so yeah, um, that's my May favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.